One act of vandalism caused hundreds of evacuations and thousands of dollars in damages. It happened almost three years ago in Riverview. A teen prankster drilled into the pipeline, supposedly looking for hidden money. The pipe burst, putting nearby residents at risk. Unfortunately, it's something that can happen to many pipelines carrying hazardous materials across the U.S. That's why congressional hearings are taking place here in the Bay Area to help keep these pipelines safe and secure. Bay News Nights, Hillsborough County reporter Chuck Johnson explains. How was your dinner? Great. Peck's restaurant owner George Contaco says when vandals ruptured a nearby ammonia pipeline in November of 2007, it brought his business to a standstill for days. That was the worst of all because you didn't know what might happen. And we didn't know when the store is going to be able to open again, I mean, after that happened. Hundreds of people were evacuated from the area, and Highway 301 was closed for days during repairs. It included the draft of the new pipeline security guidelines. To help prevent a repeat in history, Congressman Gus Bilirak has held a Homeland Security Committee hearing in Plant City this week to examine ways to improve security around pipelines. The pipelines transport hazardous materials like diesel, jet fuel, natural gas, and ammonia. Signs like this one warn people not to dig when a pipeline is running underground. But with more than 300 miles of pipeline in Hillsborough County alone, much of it exposed like this pipe right here, authorities say keeping it all secure is a daunting challenge. Bill Araka says ultimately the burden of securing the pipelines may fall to the companies that benefit from them. We need to increase the resources and the oversight, and we may need regulations. It's a possibility we need to propagate, and it may not be voluntary, it may not be enough. That's why we want to hear from the proper authorities. The hearings are aimed at trying to find the best solution to the pipeline security issue. George Kentako says he hopes something positive comes out of them. I hope something will be done so it will never happen again the same thing. He says he doesn't want his business to take a hit like the one it took nearly three years ago. In Hillsborough County, Chuck Johnson, Bay News 9. Congressman Gus Milarakis says the issue of pipeline security is a complicated one because there are more than two and a half million miles of pipeline in the country and they are operated by more than 3,000 companies.